When the first gas attack took place in April of 1915, it signaled the beginning of chemical warfare in World War I. It made it necessary for both the Allies and Central Powers to develop equipment to protect their troops from this new deadly weapon. The Imperial German Army during the year of 1915 would develop their first gas mask, the GM-15. The GM-15 saw use with the Imperial German Army as well as its European allies, Austria-Hungary and Bulgaria. The first model of the GM-15 was of a very simple design, with the mask itself made of rubber-coated canvas and metal reinforcements for the circular eyepieces. The filter of the mask, consisting of activated charcoal thoroughly soaked in 40% potassium carbonate, was contained in a metal canister that was attached to the front of the mask. While the mask was in use, moisture would build up inside the mask, fogging the eyepieces. To combat this issue, the GM-15 featured distinctive bulging cheeks, which allowed the user to wipe fogged up eyepieces when necessary. In 1917, the German army, due to shortages of rubber, designed a gas mask made of sheepskin that was sealed with oil to keep gas from seeping into the mask. The celluloid eyepieces would still feature circular metal reinforcements, as it would for the future models leading up to World War II. However, an inner frame was added to strengthen the eyepieces even more. At first, the GM-17 utilized the filter of a modified variant of the GM-15, However, the modified GM-15 filter was further improved to more effectively protect the user from poison gas. During the 1920s, when Germany was still recovering from its humiliating defeat, the GM-24 would become Germany's gas mask for the interwar period. The GM-24 was an improvement of the GM-15 and GM-17, featuring a body assembled with several alternating layers of canvas and rubber. Additionally, the GM-24 made use of a box-like filter and an air hose similar to the British SBR and LBR gas masks from the First World War. In 1930, a few improvements on the GM-24 were made, these being the addition of threaded IP supports for quick replacement of eyepieces and the introduction of a new modified variant that supported a built-in microphone located in the left cheek of the mask. The GM-30, as it was known, would later cease with the German Wehrmacht along with the GM-38 during the Second World War. The GM-38, unlike its predecessors, would have a masked body made entirely of rubber, omitting the canvas layers previously seen in the GM-24 and GM-30. With the GM-38, a multitude of specialized and modified filters which could be easily screwed onto the mask were introduced, each filter having their own specific uses. As German combat troops would never see the use of gas on the battlefield, soldiers of the Wehrmacht could be seen using the GM-30 and GM-38 without filters to protect their faces from the cold during the winter months and from the backblast caused by firing rockets from the RPZB, an earlier variant of the Panzerschreck anti-tank weapon that did not have a built-in face shield for the weapon's operator. As always, thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing to help grow the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.